Hey, what's going on here, folks? So if you were clicking on this video today, I'm assuming you're clicking on it because you're looking to change your belt for your either your front wheel drive or your rear wheel drive self-propelled lawnmower. This one specifically is actually a Husqvarna. And then also we are going to work on changing the gears in the self-propelled drive system, which are actually stripped out on the right side of this. This is actually my father's lawnmower. And he reached out and said it's making some weird noises. And you wanna just take a look at it and fix it up for me. So I'm gonna show you today how to do this. And I'm also going to show you how to change the belt on here. So we are gonna go ahead and jump right into it. But first off, I wanna say, if you are new here, consider subscribing. You never know what I might have. My channel is called Life's Escapades. I have outdoor photography, maintenance tips, tricks, and <clears throat> car repairs. And obviously I'm working on a lot more today. So definitely consider subscribing and we'll get right into this. So first thing I'm going to do is just prop it up. I got mine propped up there with a jack stand and if you were doing this on a Husqvarna the first thing we're going to or second thing we're going to want to do is to remove the blade which is actually a I believe it's a 14 millimeter socket and this is an HU I think it is a HU 700L model number and we're going to go ahead and take the blade off. Yes, I'm cheating. Second thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go grab a 12 millimeter socket and go whoop, right up here and pop that out of there. And that's actually going to hold the shield with the belt on. And we'll go around to the back and get the other two. Now we're at the back at the other two. We're going to go ahead. These are eight millimeters. And we're just going to go ahead and run them these out of here. And now that we're out of there, let's go ahead and we're going to pop the shield off. And now we can see the underside of the carriage, or the lawnmower, and you can see the belt here. And actually, we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to pop the belt off. Okay, I got it placed a little bit closer. So, first thing you're going to want to do is there's actually a little shield right here. It just kind of holds the belt on. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to zip that baby off there. And that's 13 millimeter. And basically, after that's off there, I'm assuming we can just literally, uh, we don't want that to fall off there, but, so we can literally just pop this belt off. It's one of the simplest belts on just about anything I've ever changed. Oh, and that pulley's just gotta get put back up on there. So, I just wanna take it out of the V here. Oh, that's a, oh there's actually, oh wait, there's actually another holder. So it looks like there's another holder that holds the belt on that pulley, and I'm gonna dig into that, and we're gonna figure out how to get that off there too. Okay guys, so believe it or not, I actually tried to get the pulley off and it's like a, it's a 13, no, it's actually a 14 millimeter socket. And I hooked it with a pair of ice creams because I'm sure there's some kind of a special tool to actually hold the pulley from the spinning, but with all my might and a little bit of PV blaster, I couldn't get it off here. So I ended up slipping the belt around these little um, peepers on there. It does go past there. It takes a little bit of force, but I didn't want to end up breaking the pulley. So I just did that and I'm just going to slip the new belt back on there. So there's the new belt and it did slip past, it slipped past them keepers. So if you're lucky enough, you can do that. And again, the only reason why I'm actually replacing this belt is just because it's basically got a bunch of cracks and I happened to notice it when I was looking the lawnmower over to find out what the noise was. So I said, why not do it? So if you can't get your pulley off and it's rusted on there, you know, these things have a lot of moisture with all the grass built up, you can get it by them keepers and it will work out. So that's the belt and we'll get the, um, we'll get the other piece, the other pulley back on the shaft of the lawnmower. And then we will go ahead and we will get the plastic piece mounted up and we'll get to the gearing system. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the belt back on. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the pulley to come off the shaft. Hopefully, hopefully yours, yours come off the shaft because I had to guess that these things are actually going to rust on the shaft. I did spray a little PB blaster on there. And I'm going to go ahead and just put the belt around the actual pulley. And then you're going to spin it and you will feel the keyway slip into place. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go, oh no, we're not going to put that back on there yet. So we're actually going to take the underside of the belt and it's going to go around the pulley. I'll show you. So it's going to go around the pulley just like that. And our belt is on. We just got to put our keeper back on. Okay, we can move on and put the, basically the belt keeper back into place here. Find your bolt and put it right here. It goes up against the belt. It's actually one of the motor mount bolts. I don't know if this is fixed or if it's adjustable. 
looks like it's fixed. And always oh, got to go up so these are even. It's a little funny there how it kind of belts touch, but that probably makes sense once it's all together. The blades on. And give it a little tip or tap it there. I'll check it after. And it looks like we should be good to go. Okay, and I'm actually going to show you next, and I'm actually going to review it and look at the camera myself to see how this thing actually works. So I know there's a camera, or there's a cable right there, and just spraying a little PB blaster, trying to get some inside the cable, and I believe that cable just pulls that system backwards and it tightens the belt, so we'll see what happens. So that's how the system works. We just got to get that shield back on there. And again, we're going to go ahead and pop the shield on there. Obviously, it's going to be the 13 millimeter and the two eighths in the back. So reverse procedure. And we're going to go ahead and pop the blade back on after. I don't know how this is going to be with trying to start it with my finger. Let's see if I can get the gun in there and do what I shouldn't be doing. No, I got that started. And oh, it looks like we should be good. And we'll get the eights on the back. And we'll go ahead and start these eights. If I can find where the hole goes there. And just go ahead and run them in by hand because they're just, they're actually coarse threaded bolts that. If you have, run them in with that little electric impact like I've been doing there you basically strip them out doing it this way I can at least get a feel for it and on the other side too be careful too because you can just run it in smush the plastic shield and it'll come right out from underneath the bolt and this one takes you a little tricky here there we are and now we'll move on to the gears so I lied. I meant to say gears, or I meant to say get the blade on, and then we'll move on to the gears. So we'll move on to the gears. As soon as we get this star key lined up and this blade popped on, there is a star key. That's how it's going to line up there. Put some force on it, keep it up inside. Grab your 14 millimeter. We're going to want to double check the torque on that after. I'm not exactly sure the specific, specific torque specs, but... If you need them, comment and I'll get them. So now we're gonna move on to the gear replacement. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a 14 millimeter socket and we're gonna go ahead and pop the tire off. And you're gonna to wanna to obviously get something that just kinda of stuck the jack stand underneath there just enough to get the wheel off the ground. And go ahead, zip the nut off there. This is pretty simple. So if you're just checking it out to see how it's done and the gear is actually attached to here. And if you can look, well, it's not so bad with the the gear on here is the bad one. I'll show you when I get it off there. It looks like we just got a little E-clip here. So we just got to slip that E-clip off there. Hopefully slip it off. Hopefully we can reuse it. One way or another. E-clip off. Gear slides off. There's actually a little cotter pin in there. So if you look at that, you can see the gears are all chewed up. And it was making noise and it was stripped, and that's why the lawnmower was pulling to the right. And here's the new gear. Go ahead and get it out of the bag. I did go to a Husqvarna dealer and get all OEM parts when I get no cheap junk. It's not gonna last. There's the new gear. I'll put them together and compare them. The sun's back out. See how nice and sharp the new ones are, and the other ones are all worn. So, just simple enough, put the new gear on there. I'll spray a little PB on there. A little, a little good luck next time if it ever has to come off again. And grab our E clip, C clip, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know how I'm going to force that on there. I'm going to try this. Not all the way on, but there we go. That's that. Just make sure the wheels are both the same. And grabbing the wheel. 
<coughs> and we'll just make sure they are the same. That is the right wheel. Oh, what a center shaft looks a little different here. Nope. I guess we'll find out. Oh, maybe there's a sleeve on there. Let's see if that's going to go on there. Oh, it does go on there. Okay, so that sleeve is inside. It just looks like oh, sleeve is in that one and sleeve is in that one. And there's also, oh, well, there's no washer there. It's just dirty. So, for a little good luck here, I just got some oil. And we'll just lube that shaft because it's going to be spinning on it. And hopefully this helps you out. And we'll try to lawn more out. Okay. Yeah, it still doesn't sound so healthy there, but just make sure the gears must be just the way it is. And try it out. Slap that on there. And we'll see how she goes. I'm just going to check the other side to see if that makes any noise. That one's known and good. And yeah, so that's the gear you can hear. We'll try it out, see how it works. So, very important before I move on, if you can hear me now spin this, it sounds a lot different. A lot cleaner it's not grinding so the shaft that the wheel actually mounts on I discovered it was bent and what I basically did is I actually just took an extension and a socket and I put it on the shaft and I actually bent it back so that the gears were meshing properly now so definitely keep that in mind if this mower is like if you bounce it up and down to get the grass out of the bottom of it if you dropped it off your back of your vehicle putting it in it or something it can bend these shafts obviously they're pretty fragile and it's probably what led to these stripping out so this one's all set now we will just have to take care with it and uh, I'll just make sure they spin and we'll go from there I'll go ahead and fire this thing up and we'll see what we got So as you can see, it works properly. It literally almost pulled me into my own car and it um, everything's working basically like brand new now and I'll mow the grass another day because I'm deadbeat tired because I did a lot today. But the lawnmower is all fixed. If you have any questions or go ahead and comment and consider subscribing and thanks for watching.